today is the first full day at the Krabby Beach Resort, the lagoon. And it is so pretty. It is so quiet and just, it's, it's amazing. The only downside, I guess, maybe you could consider it a downside, is that it is pretty secluded. There's a restaurant that serves um, a bunch of different kinds of food, pretty solid menu, and also serves drinks. And that's awesome, but that is the only place. There really isn't anything anywhere near walking distance. So if you want something else, you have to take a car there. So I'm gonna get a Grab, which is basically Uber or Lyft in Southeast Asia. And I'm gonna go to the 7-Eleven that's closest, which is still like three or four miles away and get some snacks and some drinks for the room. That way we're not having to go to the restaurant for like every little thing that we want and it's very reasonably priced here but even so it would just be nice to have some things to take to the pool or keep in the room and that is what we are doing today so i'm gonna go to the front desk and ask them the closest 7-eleven because the maps were a little um i don't know they kind of were contradicting each other if you looked on apple maps versus google maps and I just want to make sure I'm going to the right place. So we're going to go ask. We got our answers. Um, I feel good about it. I know where I'm going now. The only thing I'm wondering is if I should have a little bit of an adventure and call a bike instead of a car, because I think that would be a little bit fun. But I also know that I am a large person. I am almost six feet tall and I am Amazon sized. So I don't want this poor person to show up on a bike and be like, how am I gonna fit this like giant person on my bike? <laughs> but I might do it anyway, cause it could be fun. So um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the 7-Eleven, get some snacks, get some drinks, and then come back. And then we're gonna go to the pool. We're gonna fly the drone around some. So back to getting some drone footage and just kind of enjoy our next couple days at the resort. So off to the bike or the car. We'll see, it's a surprise. Ready, surprise in three, two, one. Ta -da! non existent ride. And here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. So downside, the Grab, which is like the Uber equivalent here, Uber and Lyft, um, because we're kind of out a bit, there were no drivers. I tried for about an hour to, to try to get a, a driver to pick up my ride request, it didn't work. So um, I did add, kind of let the person who works here know, and they said that they would take us. I'm choosing snacks right now. We're at a 7 Eleven in Thailand, and they are so fun. It just seems more exciting than 7 Elevens in America. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of different stuff, and then we're gonna try it. And we're gonna see which one we like best. We have secured the bag. It's time to go to one more store, and then we're going back to the resort to test them out. Okay. Okay. Don't bother. Don't bother. Mission accomplished. So our incredibly amazing and wonderful person that um, works here at the resort took me into town and took me to the 7-Eleven and took me to um, this super cute little um, like individual run kind of mom and pop place um, where I guess she could sell alcohol. There are very strict alcohol rules in certain countries. Um, I, the way it was explained to me is that it's similar as it is in Malaysia where um, the alcohol laws are controlled by um, Muslim regulations, I guess. I'm not, I'm not sure. If anybody else knows specifically, let me know in the comments. But because of the Muslim law, you can only sell alcohol in certain places and in certain times in the day. And I am in a time of the day right now where regular stores cannot sell alcohol, but these tiny little stores can. And so this woman just let us into this room, <laughs> let me buy alcohol and it was awesome. And I felt like it was like a secret place. So it was just so cool. And so now I'm gonna show all the snacks 
heat. And we're gonna see what he says. Okay. These are the snacks that we got. So I have a weird fascination with different, like, unusual flavors, especially of, like, chips in other countries. And we also got some, I think this is fish jerky, but I don't know. So we're just gonna see. We already opened this one. We already tried this one. This is spicy prawn and, like, some other sauce. What did you think? Did you like them? Yes, they're very good. No? Spicy prawn and fish, fish sauce. Let me really taste the prawn, but in a good way. Very good. I like it. All right. Prawn and whatever that green thing is, approved. Okay. Which one do you want next? This one? Okay. Yeah. This one's extra barbecue. It's not really that weird, I guess, but we don't have the flavor in the US, so we're gonna try it anyway. Okay. And it, just, it just tastes like a barbecue, barbecue chip. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed with, to have like. With a fish like, flavor. With a fish flavor barbecue? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. It just tastes like barbecue chip to me. So. Extra barbecue. Meh. Alright, nori seaweed. Nori seaweed lay. I have hopes for this one. I feel like you can smell the seaweed a lot more than you can taste it. There's like an aftertaste of a seaweed, but it's not. It doesn't taste like that seaweed that wraps around the sushi. Yeah. Which I was expecting. Right, yeah. It kind of tastes and smells like the aftertaste and the smell is more like that, like the furutake seasoning. You know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I don't even know what this is. It looks like a picture of like, I don't know, it could be a fish, like a barbecue fish, maybe with like chili on it. I don't know what this is, so if you can read this, let me know what it is. But, it looks unusual to me, so. Something, but what is this little thing? Is that a piece of chicken? Like it's, it's a fish. Is that a fish eye? Yeah. Is that barbecue an eye? Fish. Okay, barbecue fish. Barbecue Here fish. Yeah, I'd say. Yes, barbecue fish. Okay. Now this one is just hot chili squid. So maybe it'll be more squiddy than the one that had the sauce with it. Mm, this one is a lot stinkier. This one has a has a an aroma. I don't know. I feel like all of these have like a, an aftertaste, like a hint of what they're supposed to be, but they're really just potato chip. They're like the LaCroix of potato chips. Like you can get what flavor they're going for, but you don't really taste the flavor entirely. I don't know. It's fine. It's tasty. But if you handed this to me and you were just like, oh, it's just like a, a barbecue flavor or like a different flavor, I wouldn't be like, no, that's, that's hot chili squid or whatever the hell this is. Yeah, I wouldn't know these are squid. Okay. This thing. Barbecue flavored fish filet with bamboo stick. It looks kind of moist in there. Oh. 
that much very fishy. Mm -hmm. It's like a fish jerky, but kind of like a like a sweet coating on it. Just like a piece of carp to me. <laughs> it could be carp, I don't know. Okay, well, I mean, it's an interesting flavor. I wouldn't be like rushing back out to buy these, but we stuck the track right now. I might eat one right now. Okay, last snack. Whatever the hell these are. I think it's more fish something. But on the back, it has like a how to. And it says you can put it over your food. And it also has a picture of like it as like in the drink. It's like you can also put it in the drink. And I don't know why. So we're gonna see. It looks like a chili, but it also has like fish on it. It's extra chewy, very chewy, very sticky. It definitely has a spice, but this is the thing with the most kick so far. It's like a sweet chili. This is more jerky than the last one for sure. Very yeah. yeah, like a fish jerky. I could see how you could use this as like a garnish or put it in like a drink. Like a sweet mm -hmm. drink. Yeah. Yeah. I just like um what's it called? Like a posing taste. Mm -hmm. Like how you put um you know, like salt on the like, I can see it, I can see it working. So anyway. Those are the snacks. And that was our trip to the Thai 7-Eleven. <laughs>